In this video, we're going to show you how to download and install WordSearch 11 on a Macintosh computer. The first thing you will need is a download link. A download link helps you download the file that installs WordSearch 11. Here's an example of a download link, and as you can see, it's merely just a web address. So how do you get a download link? You can get a download link when you purchase WordSearch 11. If you have already purchased WordSearch 11, just contact our sales and customer service department and ask them for another. Once you get your download link, click on it. That will download the file that installs WordSearch 11. And the name of that file is setup.ws11mac.zip. To help prepare you when you get your download link, I'm going to click on my download link now and show you some slides of what happens. In this example, after clicking on my download link, the Safari browser began downloading the setup file. And it is displaying a download status box in the upper right corner. And the box is filling up with blue ink to indicate that I'm downloading something. That's a good sign. You want to see that. And if you click on the download status box, you get the details of the download. My download details tell me I am downloading the file setup.ws11mac.zip and I have one minute remaining. If your Safari browser is downloading our setup file, you should see the same thing. When the download is finished, the Safari download status box will look like this. In this example, when I clicked on my download link, the Chrome browser started to download the setup file. You can see the download status box in the bottom left corner. Here's another slide taken later on in the download process. And here are some other slides taken even later in the download process. When the download is complete, this is what your download status box would look like. And now that you have downloaded the setup file, you have to go to your downloads folder and look for the results of the file that you downloaded. To get to your downloads folder, the first thing you want to do is open a finder window. To open a finder window, go to your dock, click on the finder icon, and when you click on it, you get a finder window that should look something like this. When you open your finder window, look in the left hand column for the word downloads and click on it. And you will see the contents of your downloads folder. Now, if you don't see the word downloads in the left hand column of your finder window, go to the apple bar at the top of your screen and click on go. When the drop down menu appears, you will see downloads there. So just click on that. Once you are in the downloads folder, look for the folder called setup.ws11mac.zip. When you find it, open it. Because inside of that folder is the file that installs our program. That file is this one here, setup.mpkg. Double click on that file and you will be installing the Word Search 11 program on your Mac. To help prepare you when you get to this point, I'm going to show you some slides of the installation process that will appear when you click on the file setup.mpkg. The first screen you get when you double click on setup.mpkg is the typical welcome screen. At this screen, just click on the continue button. The next screen is the typical license agreement screen. Click on continue here, then click on the agree button. At the select a destination screen, we recommend that you click on the local hard disk, then click on continue. 
Installing our program to alternate locations can cause problems. At the Installation Type screen, click on the Install button. That will bring up a security sign-in window. At this window, put in your administrator password. This is the same password that you use to sign in when you start your Mac. After you put in your administrator password, click on the Install Software button. At this point, the installation program will write the WorkChurch 11 program files to your hard drive. This step is usually a very short process. If the installation is successful, you should see this screen indicating that everything went well. Click on the Close button, then look for the WordChurch 11 icon to start the program. You will find the icon in your Launchpad window by clicking on the Launchpad icon on your dock. You will also find the icon in your Applications folder. So, if you have any problems with any of the steps we went through, just look through our bank of other videos for assistance.